What's up guys, SP Architects here. Today I'm going to show you how to make automatic pen thickness in ArchiCAD. But before beginning the tutorial, I would just like to ask you to like this video tutorial. It's going to help this channel to growing up and I suggest you to subscribe. Because in this page you can find lots of tutorials. By the way, I have also a Patreon page. In that page you can download my project files. You can find more advanced video tutorials and much more. Alright, without any further ado, let's start the tutorial. Let's say that we have a house plan like this and we have modeled the whole building. Now it's time to create layouts. Of course, I assume you have done your elevation, of course. By the way, I hope I don't have any for this tutorial. I'm gonna create one for you. Let's go to ground floor and go to documents. Here we have elevation. Let's click that and place this side of the building. Hold the shift, make a straight line and we are going to look at the building direction and click. We have created the elevation right here. Let's open up that. Here we have our simple elevation. But as you can guess, there are lots of works to do. We have to organize the text, labels and of course our pen thickness because pen thickness are changed according to the wall position determined by the range of your elevation line. You must use bold or thick lines close to you and thinner lines far from you. In this situation we need to change these lines to thicker lines. How we can do that? First option is doing that with your hand, with document and using simple lines. You change your pen, you select a bolder line right here, for instance, this point 35 and you can use this change method and you can just over sketch on the wall like so. And you can go to view, on screen view options and use true line weight. But in these situations, we need to increase the this pen thickness. So I go to options, here element attributes and pens. Now at this time we have custom pen setup. We were changing the this one, time weight 0.35 to maybe 0.5. Let's click OK. By the way, I have realized our line type is dense dot. Let's change that to solid line. And there we have our remarkable pen contour close to our position. And of course, you can continue with this, but well, it's not a true solution, I think because it's only one building and one floor and we could have lots of details for our structure so in this situation we are going to use automatic pen thickness okay in order to achieve this we are going to use our elevation settings to reach that we go to this elevation we can right click here and select this elevation settings and also in the ground floor we can select our elevation we can right click again and here we can see our elevation selection settings too. Let's click that and open the settings. In the settings we have lots of options here and they are very useful. One of those is model appearance. Let's open up that menu and we have here fade distant elements. And let's click OK. In the floor plan you will see newly created line. This line determines the cut distance of your elevation which means this area between this starting position and the second line will be shown another pen and beyond that line this line will be shown another pen the useful side of this you can change this line position here we can go to for instance second story and we can select our second mark line and with it i want to see this side of the building is bold other parts 
this area will be thin. Therefore, I am going to change this position to here. Because I want to see this wooden element thinner than this wall. Okay. Once we have done that, we go to settings again. Of course, the elevation selection settings. And under the weight distant elements, we have another options. We can change the uncut wheel of that area, pan color and other settings. In this situation, uncut line pan will be shown as 0.13. And let's see what we have with these settings in the elevation. There we have our pan thickness and settings are changed. For instance, we can assign any color, for instance, orange. Let's click OK. And by the way, I have some settings for the for the view options. I'm going to deactivate that option from here. Graphic override combinations. I'm going to use no overrides. And now we can see our orange band. Orange pen is uncut line pen. Now I'm going to make this part red. And I'm going to make this part blue. So it's this uncut line pen. Let's click OK. And this is how you can make automatic pen thickness pen settings in ArchiCAD. Let's change this once more. I want this side as black 0.35 maybe and this side is gray and maybe 0.25 and also I'm going to fulfill this area with some surface so to change that we can use this uncut elements and here we have uncut fill it says uniform pen not that I'm gonna use surface texture fill shaded There you go. This part is going to be the same, but a little different. Fade distance elements, uncut fill, surface texture fill, shaded. Let's click OK. There we go. As you can see, it was faded with the settings. In addition to the settings, you can add some shadow for your building. Under the settings, we have some here and under that, we have shadow. Let's open up that and there will be some shadow created according to this some position settings. Let's click OK and look at what we have. And as you can see in the viewport, some shadows were created. Of course, we can increase the shadow size by changing these angles. For instance, let's make this 60. And now we have more shadow. Alright, this is how you can use fade distant elements in ArcGIS. With that fade distant element, you can use automatic pen thickness and some interesting, elegant and attractive presentations. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I'm gonna add this file to my Patreon page. In that page, you can find more advanced tutorials and you can reach and download another project files, architect libraries, objects, and designing files. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.